it affected me really sadly because I was scared that my mum would get coronavirus because by that time corona came, she was in a care home. People like are dying and like, and just worried about my parents and stuff. Nowadays I'm kind of like wondering how it feels to like die and how it feels for like other families and their family members are dead. I think about if that could like be me one day and how, how my family would feel. I think it's been a long lasting effect on me and the effect is that when you like when you go to sleep you don't know if you could die in your sleep or if you just like wake up and it's a new day. I think the worst thing that has happened to me during lockdown is my relative dying, my uncle, and um, going back to school thinking that I'm going to be really behind. I was a little bit frightened. Getting the COVID, I'm worried about my mum getting it. If they got it, then we couldn't meet up. We couldn't like spend time together. The mental effect is going to last a long, a long time. Play is important because it's like a way to get out all of your energy and say you maybe you might be feeling upset that day, you'd be able to play with people and that might make you, make you happy again. So it's like really important that uh, you're able to enjoy time again instead of just being alone and upset. If Max Roach wasn't here, then I would just be bored, bored and sitting at home. I feel really happy when I come here. This summer, I'm really looking forward to like this, playing outside, playing at the park and seeing my friends. This summer, I'm hoping to go to the beach. If I can't go to the beach this summer, I'll feel sad. This summer, I'm looking forward to playing games all day. I'm looking forward to definitely playing football again. That was like, that was very fun. And I'm looking forward to just having fun. Yeah, I think uh, people should donate to their local communities and charities to support children with their mental health as well.